is topping expectations they're very happy in lines with the young French center back and another young player making his mark from the U team Dura Birkic scoring in the last match against Nantes and looking very accomplished in the center of the park the youth will be the way forward for Lance and it's good to see these young players making their mark early an offer for Seiko Fofana from the Premier League now normally we'd have to consider this but Crystal Palace are dead last in the Premier League as you can see down there it's 17 points so I don't think Fofana would be happy to go into a relegation battle all right we're heading to the velodrome to take one oh, I see all right Seiko Fofana injured Rivera not ready for this match rule neither this is what we're going for here we are Lons versus Marseille that's so did really well Costa through Get his foot to the ball. We're heading into the break at nil, nil here from the Orange Velodrome. us a lot when we played against him Gideon Mensah Ghanaian left back joining from Auxerre 2.5 million euros for the 25 year old and just as quickly as he's arrived he is heading out of the club but the deal is too good to pass up Nikola Maximovic off to Wolverhampton Wanderers heading over to the Premier League 15 million euros for a player who signed for free Wolves if you can believe it are currently fourth in the Premier League and pushing for Europe and Maximovic would be an instant starting center back giving them a lot of experience for the second half of the season it's a transfer that really makes sense for all parties involved we get a good fee it's deadline day yes but we can make something happen with a couple hours left and his replacement will be Emmanuel Ayru 
Austrian centre back coming over from Cremonese in Serie A. The 23 year old will join his compatriot in Kevin Danso in defence. He's a different profile, a lot younger, a lot pacier, not as defensively aware as Maximovic. But we're happy to get him in. 6.5 million euros, our new centre back Emmanuel Iru. Alright, so Penda, Costa, Claude Maurice are our front three today. Mensa gets a start, so does Iru. Well, new man Emmanuel Iru in there. Maximovic off to the Premier League. We'll see how the Austrian does today. Quick break. Alexis Claude Maurice. points away from the Champions League. Here we are. Big match today. Can we keep our streak going? Rest. Fada. Oh, and just like that, we're through. Nahi. Penda. Seco for Fada. Seco for Fada. Seco for Fada. Penda. What a run by Seco. And there it is. It's nil. Nil at half time. some words about that bro in a match like this you cannot miss these chances Good positioning. 
All right, let's just have a look at the top scoring list. Openda, eight goals, four assists, five assists now for Seiko Fofana, just the one goal. Unahi, two goals, two assists. Samet, two goals, one assist. Four assists for David Costa, six goals. Six for Dalla as well, three for Saeed, two and three for Rogers, four for Thomason. Ayu, Danto, Ruot, we're giving a rest to Medina who never gets a rest. Openda and Rogers up top. Today, Lance taking on Langer. That's him, Samet. Rogers, Morgan Rogers. Oh, it's cleared. And again, again. Oh, no. What a stop! Nil, nil at half time. We didn't create much, did we? And to my son, I'm likely to take him off soon. That means that's after the match. And actually, he's hit this. Well, off the post. It was almost along the ground. Ah, that's disappointing. And Thomason took it safe. Shots and zero on target. I just want to say defensively, that was an incredible performance, but not enough in attack. We couldn't finish. We really need a center forward next year. Bernadoni gets a 10. And of course, Monaco wins. So now we're two points back of them. French Cup. Quarterfinal action. It's Lange versus Leon live from the Stade Belair de la Lise. All right, here's how we're lining up. Costa, Unahi, and Openda, Fofana, Abu Samed. That's the back line. Ayu starts pre-sado on the left. Beautiful afternoon here. Live from the Stade Belair de la Lise. The quarterfinals of the French Cup. It's 2-2. Woo! Um, 
Oh my word! 2-2 two, two at halftime. Lance just lose focus. That man there, I will be starting really well overall here, but not a good game for him today. As Titi comes on for Sherkin. Titi is a very good player. Trip to the semi-finals and Adam Buxa. Chris, take a penalty here. The Polish forward lines up. Very quick penalty. One nil. It's not a good penalty. Oh boy. Right down the middle again! Two for two, Leon! Tico steps up. He has to get this right. Off the post star. Oh, that's we're in trouble. It's Tete. Samba gives us a lifeline. Ooh, great penalty. Look high. Two-two. Down in the middle, the three times they've gone down the middle, they've scored. Ah, and if Thomasen can't score here, it's all over. Up the steps, Adrian Thomasen! Binge, what a penalty! And it comes down to this for Bryce Samba and Lance. Thiago Mendes. Pressure builds. Oh, Samba did it! 3-3, will I come back? Oh, Mendes! 
Sanchez misses a chance to win the match. Woo! Up next. Up steps the left back. Oh, Lopez is there. Oh, that's such a shame. And now it's Max Sets. Kakare to win it. Samba, can he pull off more heroics? We'll see. Oh, Kakare hits the crossbar. We live. The drama. And then midfielder steps up. Salas Abusa mad. Buries it. And it's 4 3 lands. And all the pressure now on Tadia Fico. It's Bryce Samba. It's Bryce Samba. It's Bryce Samba. Get in. Get in. We go to the semi final. Samba's done it again. We win on penalties. Ali, 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 Ali. Yes, PSG beat Nantes, Monaco passed Dijon, and Strasbourg passed Guingamp. So the semi-finals of the French Cup, we have a date with Paris Saint-Germain. And on the next side, it's Monaco versus Strasbourg. So I will feel good about our chances if we get to the final. Ah, sucks you have to pay PSG before then. All right, so we're taking on Stade René with Adul Samed and Unahi. Both absent, Pesado as well. Unana gets a start, Morgan Rogers in the attack, and Claude Maurice in for that with Costa. Welcome to Ruazan Park. It's Tavene versus Lance. And Lance gets it there. A good strike. A good save. And so. Ankowski! Oh, straight to go, Mies. There it is, half time. Nil nil. Messi 
Sicko for Fana. Match winner. 2-1 Lance. Big victory. All right. 42% possession. We had to fight today. 8.5 man of the match. Captain Seiko for Fana. And that was a captain's performance. All right. Fourth place, we leapfrog Monaco. Six points back of the Champions League playoffs. Anything is possible. All right, so taking on Lorient and Duver Birkic getting a start today in midfield. A couple changes as Lubacic comes in as well. Rogers and Upenda up top. Lance versus Lorient. Man of the match, do a brickage, okay? Why would 
he make that pass? Off the... Come on! Inside the post! Such a nice move. Poor pass here. He capitalized really well. Abusa Medo penned and knocked it down and cost that. What a good team goal that would have been. We would have to just go crazy inside everyone. All right, so Openda is injured. Timely, considering Dallas' form at the moment. It'll be him and Rogers up top. Costa gonna start this one on the bench. And Pesado keeping his spot at the moment over Frankowski. Derby day, we're facing Lille. No Luis Openda. Justin Dallas starts this one. As Openda's out injured, a prime opportunity for the Angola. Coming, that's poor, poor defending. And Bayo is leading the lead. And oh, Samba keeping us alive. And that's it. Brickage. Yes, and Dollar. Back 
Lewandowski da war! scores and John Onana had just grown into this season more and more brilliant passing and Lucic gets another assist Second half comeback 
You do it quite well. How good is Morgan Rogers at the moment? 8.1 for Rogers, 9.5 for Bryce Sambo. Nice drop points. But it's really just a battle for second between them and Leon. 30 goals conceded so far this season. Monaco scoring one more than us and conceding three less. So still some work to do. 